on today's video I have this uh, VW Golf this is a 2007 the 1.9 TDI I'm just gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter and um, I'm just gonna start by opening the oil filler cap there and also we're gonna pull the dipstick a little bit but I'm also gonna take this cover out you just need to pull it out from the front and then slide it towards yourself as it's just a slide in there so now we have access to the oil filter which is sitting just there Okay, so to remove that filter there, I'm gonna use uh, this socket, it's a 32 mil with the, an extension and a ratchet. And that shouldn't be too tight in there. So there's gonna be some oil in there. Um, so once you open it carefully, you can let it rest a few minutes there, just so the oil drains. So when you pull it out, it doesn't drip everywhere or put some rags around and uh, pull it out. The filter I'm using is this Bosch P9192. Okay, so that's the filter there. We're gonna then uh, just pull this out and dispose of it, and we are also gonna change the O-ring. Now, if you're working outside, uh, maybe cover that area there with uh, some paper or a rag, uh, just to avoid anything going in there, dust or leaves or anything that you may not see. Um, but I'm working in the garage, so I should be okay. So now I'm gonna get the car up, gonna drain the oil. So looking at the car from underneath, we have this cover we just need to remove. It's held in by some uh, uh, Torx screws. Uh, these are T20s or T25s, and then we have uh, another three here, the T30s. Um, so once you remove all of them, you'll be able to take that cover out. So that will give us access here to the uh, sump. We have the sump plug there. Okay, so get yourself an oil pan and uh, with a 19 mil, we're gonna open that. And uh, just remember, if the engine's been running, that oil will be very hot. So just make sure you don't burn yourself. Or you could wait until it cools down a little bit. And uh, we can let that drain for a little while, and then uh, we'll get back to it. Okay, so while that is draining, we can tackle our filter here. So the, the O-ring is here. need to get that off and uh, well, this filter should just uh, pull out which it can be a bit hard sometimes very hard <laughs> but it's basically just plugged in on those clips sometimes I use a screwdriver to help myself
Okay, that is a little bit hard. A little bit very hard, shall I say? And there will still be a little bit of oil in there, so we can dispose of that. And uh, just gonna clean that a little bit. And then well, we have our new O-ring. Just make sure it's going around the correct groove. And the new filter just plugs in there. <laughs> easier to plug in than to remove it and uh, also I'm gonna put a little bit of grease around this o-ring that just uh, allows the, the o-ring to go in nicely when we're um, tightening it so it doesn't get kinked or damaged or anything. Okay, so now we're gonna put our sun plug back. So I'm reusing the washer, in this case, it's, uh, it's in good condition. And uh, usually these are torqued between 14 and 20 Newton meters, so it's not a lot of force. Um, just make sure it's closed. I'm only using a small ratchet here to, to close it so I can't apply too much force because so I don't want to damage the threads. Besides, if we see a little bit of oil dripping, we can tighten it a little bit more. Now we can refit our cover and uh, I'm gonna lower the car, we're gonna top up some oil and refit the filter. So looking at the car from up here, we've got our new filter, we just need to get it in there. And uh, I just like to get it in by hand as much as I can, so I know it's going in the correct way and it's not going to get damaged then we can tighten it usually um, the cover there tells you how many newton meters you need to tighten this to uh, in this, I think this is 25 23 to 25 and again, that isn't a lot of force. So if you have a torque wrench, obviously just use it. If you're used to doing this, then you will know more or less how much to tighten it. Um, so that's that now. And now we can uh, put some oil. The manual recommends uh, 5W30. Okay, so this takes uh, 4.3 liters. So I already put uh, some oil in there. Um, just need to put 0.3. Some of the oil will go into the oil filter. So um, we'll check the dipstick in a minute. Okay, so this is showing above the max, 
because some of that will go into the oil filter housing. So this will go down once we run the engine. Okay, so you can see now the oil has come down just to the max area here. And, um, and that's it really. So I hope this video helps and uh, thank you for watching.